Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, time for a market outlook video, and we need to take a look at some market moves that could be happening this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. We are fresh out of the Foot birthday promo with nothing else on the agenda as of now. This is really a time of just, we don't know what's going on in FIFA Ultimate Team because we're not really sure um, what promo could be coming next. Um, if you go look at the team of the weeks, it looks like we get, they've been kind of following this trend of uh, doing a promo like every every couple of weeks. So right in here we have the, we have team of the week 28, 27, and 26. The foot birthday squad actually should be right in between 28 and 27. That's where that should be. Um, so I don't think we're going to get a promo this weekend. Um, based on what EA has been following in the past, usually it's two team of the weeks and then a promo. So we have two team of the weeks in between FFS and headliners. Um, so I think that this week we shouldn't have anything. Next week should be pretty, pretty um, maybe start, things will start to pick up as we head into another promo, but I don't think we're gonna get a promo this week. Um, and what does that mean for us on foot? Well, we do have a lot of SBCs that are expiring, um, but I don't really don't, we've talked about SBCs so much this past week. It's really time to start talking about other things um, like just the market moves and what's gonna be happening with the market um, in a week with no content. Um, but a lot of these SBCs are expiring, so if you wanna do your last chance at some uh, 80 plus player picks, you have a couple hours to do those. Same with the 82 to 87s. Um, some of these foot birthday SBCs have a couple um, of days remaining on them, the flashback Nani, Lukaku, the middle icon upgrade. If you want to take your last shot at those, they do have a few days left. Ramos being the last one with five days left um, on the game. So the icons, of course, are staying in here. Only the lone versions expire. All the rest of the full icon SBCs will be in the game for the rest of the year, which is huge. Very glad that they uh, changed that up before, before they had actually time limits, uh, but now they do not, which is very, very nice. So Again, this week, there will be some people that'll be finishing out the Icon SBCs, but we should see the high rated gold prices kind of lower themselves after weekly rewards on Thursday. And I think, honestly, uh, that the market is going to rise a lot this week, and I think it's gonna rise earlier in the week. I wanna take a look at Footbin right now. This is the Index 100. It looks like we had a nice drop off for squad battles tonight in the weekly sell off, which is interesting. But what that probably was, was the Index Gold and a lot of stuff being packed. Yep, during squad battles, you see this going down. I bet the high rateds are down um, a good bit. I haven't looked at a ton of this stuff as of yet. Yeah, high rateds, look at this. They're down to 24K for the 86s. The 85s are coming back down. Everything is coming back down just because the SBCs um, are starting to expire. But um, there still might be some opportunities to pick up some cards earlier in the week. Champions League is gonna be on this week. You're gonna see a rise in these cards as people are starting to invest in them. Um, I would focus on the players that are still having games, um, but I think the market in general is going to rise really quickly into the week, um, and I want to talk about that because of a few things. Well, we just had a promo, Foot Birthday, and a lot of people opened packs. A lot of people packed some of these cards and got a lot of coins. A lot of people are invested in these cards as well, and I think you're going to see these cards rise out of packs just a little bit um, as people maybe try them and use them out. But I think a lot of people are invested in these foot birthday cards, especially the lower tier ones. And that's kind of why I'm staying away from them. I'm going to maybe try to find a, a quick price or a deal on some of them. I have some Douglas Costas and I have a couple of Bami Yangs in the club right now that I'm trying to flip. Um, but I just don't like them, to be honest. I think they're invested in a lot, maybe a little bit too much. Um, I would rather look at cards like these UCL Lives that are still playing. I know Florenzi and Roma are not in anymore, but I'm looking at guys like Sterling. Um, I'm looking at guys like Quadrado, like Diamonds and Sanchez. I think all those cards have opportunity to rise in the hype. Now, I'm not sure how the upgrades work for those cards uh, this time around. I don't think they get upgraded for the first leg. I think they have to win both, um, but there's going to be all, always there's hype and some panic with those cards. Um, but for your Thursday flips, if there's still an opportunity for you to get in on some cards that are cheap, um, I would consider doing that here pretty soon. Um, weekend league sell-off this weekend. I think you saw a sell-off in a lot of areas where there are new SBC cards out. So like this uh, Lala card, I think, the headliner, it's actually up a little bit uh, right now, but I did see 
Um, a couple cards that were affected by the weekly objectives, actually one in particular, was Calabria. Right now the Milinkovic Savic uh, right back card is in the weekly objectives, and this card, Calabria, um, actually, see, he's down in 100,000 coins, so he's taking a hit right now because of that SMS card being in weekly objectives. And once you, uh, this could be a decent investment right now because a lot of people are going after that SMS card um, and this causing this card to dip lower, but also there's going to be less demand for this card because of SMS being out uh, in packs. So this week, I think if you're finding low deals on the market, we're going to head back to Footbin here, check out a few of the team of the weeks. This week's team of the week, um, investing wise, doesn't look super duper great to me. Pogba's kind of low there at 710. I might have to check that out. Um, but for Thursday flips this week, I think you want to get your buys early. And that's what I'm saying kind of with this video is I think the market is going to rise earlier on. I really like these Carnival cards because they get so, so rare on the market at nighttime and even during the day. So if you can find a dip in price for these cards, none of them are sticking out to me right now as I, as I look through the squad. Um, but... Uh, a lot of these cards, like Immobile, is very high right now. Let's go check him out on the console. This card is so rare, it is ridiculous um, on the Xbox. This uh, Carnival version of Immobile, there are not very many of them on the market. You see there's only one page, and right now he's sitting at 297,000 coins. Um, so there's a lot of fluctuations with these Carnival cards, which is very, very nice, very good to trade with. The Foot Birthdays... Um, I think way too many are invested in those because you have to just think so many people had just invested in high rated golds and they cashed out, they made their big money um, and now they have a lot more coins and they're either going to want to buy a team with those player, with those coins, buy players or they're going to want to go into the next investment because they're high on the investments right now, they're feeling good about their investments and these cards are kind of the the next thing to invest in. I see a lot of these prices have already started to rebound back up. They're already a little bit higher than they have been. This Lukaku card was under 100,000 coins. Um, and look how much it's been invested in. It's already up to 110, 112. He was 92K. If you invested in this card on Wednesday, uh, you got in in a great time because he's already up um, 20,000 coins. He's up 20,000 coins already. You're making 10K a card easy right there. Actually, you're making more than that. I can't do math. Uh, that's a very nice return on your investment. Um, if you want to invest in these still in the last hours that they're in packs, I would advise you guys to look for more of the rare ones, um, at least on Xbox, Mbappe, Bale, Marcelo, Koulibaly, Griezmann, uh, Douglas Costa, Aubameyang. Those guys are a lot more rare on the market. And they're more expensive as well. They're not as easy to invest in uh, for people to stack up on. But I think a lot of these cards that are down here that people have invested in, I don't think they're going to go up that much more this week. Just because these cards don't have a ton of hype in them. Now, some of them do. Um, some of them do. But with Team of the Season on the horizon, um, I think the biggest rise for these cards will actually come in two weeks. That's how it seems to be working for the last couple of, uh, last couple of promotions that have coming out. They get invested in the first week. And they just don't rise, but they rise the second week after everybody sells them and they kind of were like a dead investment that week, or they only went up some, they come back down in a weekend league sell-off and then they rise up a lot in price the next week because the focus is off of those cards. So that's what I want you guys to watch this week. Um, watch these foot birthday cards. If you're invested in them, I hope they go up for you. I don't have that many. I'll show you guys right now. I just don't like them that much. I think they're over invested in especially the lower tier cards this is all that i have right here abamyang a couple douglas costa and some ucl lives i'm just going to relist those really fast um but that's all that i have in terms of investments right now i'm pretty liquid um i will be buying a lot of stuff i think throughout the earlier portions of this week it should be a very good week for thursday flipping because people are playing rivals this week and that's going to cause for a lot of rewards to be opened up on Thursday. A lot of untradeable packs, a lot of coins, a lot of tradable packs are going to be opened. Even though there's not a promo going on, there's going to be a lot of packs open because of the, the weekly objectives. Um, so I think weekend league flipping should be a very, very good week this week. Um, I will probably be buying a lot of things to either link with these foot birthday cards, link with some SBCs that have come out, and of course link uh, with the team of the week, which will have dynamic images because we had league games. It's going to be a good week for trading on FIFA. We should see some market rebound. Um, SBC-wise, during the week, I don't think we'll get too much. 
maybe a flashback here or there. Maybe they drop a random icon. That's something to watch out for. Um, I think we're done with the foot birthday stuff as well. So we're kind of on the out and out of that promotion. Um, but yeah, it should be a fun week and th the no SBC should really cause and help a market rise. Now I want to mention one thing, player of the month, we'll look on Footbin for this, uh, using their live tab, live tab, the player of the month contenders. I think player of the month voting is going to start here this week because all the games are finished for Premier League and Bundesliga for the month. It is now April. Happy April to you guys. April Fool's Day, April 1st. Um, so... This is kind of over. I don't know who's going to win this player of the month. We'll have to see when the vote comes out what it seems like. I would maybe say Firmino right now is the top runner. He's got four games, three goals, one assist, but I have not been following this too closely. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with this. But in the Bundesliga, I have not looked at this at all yet. Oh, wow. Cruz with four games, six goals, three assists. Lewandowski, four games, six goals. We might see Lewandowski because... The fan vote is so huge for Bundesliga Player of the Month. That would be a very interesting SBC if Lewandowski did win. So we'll have to watch that. We might see some voting in terms to Player, player of the Month uh, coming this week because we might see those SBCs next week. If you see the voting early in the week this week, that means that the SBCs might actually come out on Friday. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that as well. But again, this week on the market, I'm thinking get your buys in early. When you're going to look for buys, Go through the team of the weeks, go through past special teams. Basically just go to the team of the week tab on Footbin, scroll down, scroll through prices, look through graphs, um, look at cards that normally rise, like a Ben Yedder card um, that fluctuates a lot, and a lot of popular players, meta, peop meta cards that people want to put in their teams. Um, and those should continue to rise throughout the week as people are building teams and doing stuff on the game. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. It's going to be a chill week on the market, I think. A lot of time for flipping and investments um, and no promo, hopefully. So let the market take a breather. Get your weekly objectives done if you want to do any of those two uh, or three. Uh, I think those are pretty good. And also keep in mind that uh, the rewards flipping this week does look very promising with all the packs that should be open, all the players playing uh, division rivals this week. If you enjoyed the video, hit a thumbs up on it and uh, comment down below if you have any questions. Love to talk to you guys there. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.